Welcome to your general reading for January 2021. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Just a general reading, not going to focus on any one particular area. We'll just see what wants to come out. I did just do your love reading. Um, if you are looking for specifically for love, that is already posted. If I haven't gotten time to link it to the end, just head back to the channel for that. There's also going to be a singles reading for single Aquarians posted by January as well. All right. Okay, here we go, guys. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single one of you. It's not possible. If it doesn't resonate, check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. If it does resonate, though, I'd love to hear stories in the comments. If you need a personal reading, don't hesitate to hit me up. Everything you need to know is in the description and the About Me section. All right, I will show these to you guys as I read them. Recent past for Aquarius. Ten of Cups in your recent past, and I forgot to show your overall. Your overall is a Seven of Swords. And if this turns out to be a love reading, guys, I do have to throw out there, I did just do your love reading, and it wasn't the greatest. So if you are someone that is having issues in your love life, might want to check that one out. Present Energy for Aquarius. Too many. Oh gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Sorry guys. All right, maybe not. Present energy for Aquarius, January 2021. Six of Cups reversed. Immediate future for Aquarius. The High Priestess. All right, let's start here. Okay, guys, so for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for, would be you. Everything else in the reading is interchangeable, can be for you, your surrounding energies, okay? So you guys are in this Seven of Swords energy. What's up, guys? This is deception, it's shady behavior, lying, stealing, cheating, whatever it is. Somebody trying to get away with something here. Um, you guys are going to hate me for this, but this is in your overall energy. So there's something that you're not being honest about and it doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, I'm not, you know, calling you a lying asshole or anything. There's just something that, that you're not being honest with, with someone about or with yourself about. It might not, you know, you might not even have bad intentions, but there is some dishonesty here, even if it's just internal. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. The Ace of Pentacles. So it has something to do with your stability, whether it's a job, a home, or a commitment. Um, or it could have something to do with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So having the Ace of Pentacles, there's some kind of an offer here, an offer of stability, whether it's a job, a new home, um, a whole committed relationship, whatever it is for you, you're either hiding it, like you're not letting people know that this, that this is there, or there's something shady surrounding it. There's something shady surrounding a new offer. You know, like somebody might have had to lie to get a job, get a house, something like that. There's some kind of deception surrounding a new offer of commitment, whatever that means in your world, okay? In your recent past, you have the Ten of Cups. This is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a happy home. A happy home, happy family. Everything's great. Everybody loves each other. Everybody gets along, but that's in the recent past. Now in the present, you've got the Six of Cups reverse. This, so this is the water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just like the Ten of Cups here, but this is being stuck in the past. You know, you might have some issues happening with someone from your past, issues involving your kids. Let's see here. Clarify the Six of Cups reverse for Aquarius. So if this isn't you, being dishonest about something and there's an offer out there for you whether it's a job a house a relationship there is deception surrounding it there's something hidden somebody's trying to get away with something you need to be mindful of that okay all right 
And also in the present, you have the Queen of Wands reverse fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a fire sign from your past that you're having some issues with right now, whether it's external or internal. All right, this is a controlling, demanding person. Could be like um, someone that you maybe have kids with um, and there's some issues, issues around like kids, family, get another one on that clarify the queen of wands reversed that's queen of wands reverse is a kind of energy where they just kind of it, it's like spoiled brat they don't care who they have to hurt even if it's their kids to get what they want clarify the queen of wands reversed the world reversed unfinished business unfinished business from the past probably with a fire sign, if not an actual fire sign, a very controlling, demanding, spoiled, jealous energy. You might you might have a jealous ex that, you know, you have kids with that is causing some problems. There's some unfinished business here with a really narcissistic individual, <laughs> okay? All right, in your immediate future, you've got the High Priestess. So this is being really connected spiritually, really listening to your intuition, really paying attention here. What is this High Priestess about? Clarify the High Priestess. The Five of Swords reverse, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So disengaging from conflict is kind of like listening to your intuition and not engaging, right? If you think somebody's drama, you're going to listen to your intuition and you're not going to get involved with that person. Um, it, it's kind of right along the lines of the Seven of Swords. It's like the kind of energy where like they just want to win. This person just wants to win and it's very Queen of Wands reversed energy. They have to win. They don't care what they do, what they have to say, what they have to do to win, to get what it is that they want. They're going to do it. So you're going to listen to your intuition and kind of recognize that and not participate. Potential obstacle for Aquarius, January 2021. The lovers, Gemini energy. So there could be a Gemini that's kind of a problem for you in January. Um, otherwise, it's somebody else's relationship could be problematic. Um, or it's just a real need to, to balance yourself or balance your connection, whatever this means for you. Advice for Aquarius. The magician, that is about taking control of your life, manifesting whatever it is that you want to manifest. You are in control. You have to take responsibility here. You have everything that you need to get whatever it is that you're trying to get here. Really work on your manifestation. You've got the high priestess and the magician here. Um, if your spiritual side is cut off, get in touch with that. Um, heavy manifestation mode for you. So pay attention to that don't waste your opportunity okay clarify the magician what is it that you're manifesting or should be the king of cups so that's emotional availability emotional stability emotional maturity it's loving compassionate energy all right um more spiritual energy look at all that light it's all about emotions and healing and spirituality um you could be manifesting a really, you know, emotionally mature relationship um, and manifesting some healing in your world. But you've definitely got somebody here that's having some jealousy issues, somebody from your past trying to control your life and they, they're probably lying about it. They're probably offering you something or there's some, some issues surrounding a home or money with them that they're lying about and it's it's because there's there's a lot of jealousy here and a lot of they're going to do whatever they have to do to get what it is that they want from you 
All right, let's get you some Oracle, guys. What does Aquarius need to know? January moon take note of intuitive messages right don't forget you've got the high priestess here too universe is trying to talk to you pay attention to signs synchronicities your dreams pay attention to all that write your dreams down Stag, trust and thrive. Um, so you've got heavy manifestation energy here, right? You, When you're manifesting, trust that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is going to actually happen. All right? You have to trust that so that it, it does. If you don't believe and trust that it's going to happen, then it's not going to. Right? Trust and thrive. As long as you trust that it's going to happen, then you're going to thrive. too many shapeshifter transform and unveil your gifts so you have some gifts here that you haven't tapped into yet I don't know what that is it's up to you to find out could have something to do with animals nature all right let's get you some from this deck guys Deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. And that makes a lot of sense with the Magician and the King of Cups here. Manifesting your healing, probably emotional healing. All right. Star Brothers, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. That's awesome. Um, you might have some ties to Egypt, guys. So if you don't already know that, check into it. And you've got two different energies of trust here. Whatever that means to you. I think it's yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that you have the ability to get what it is that you want. Pay attention to the cycles of the moon as well, guys. Um, you've got the moon, high priestess, and the magician. So heavy manifesting. Um, tie that in with the cycles of the moon, right? If you're not somebody that's familiar with that kind of manifestation, um, check into it. Magdalene, you've got the Magdalene. Um, 
um, probably have some Magdalene energy within you, male or female, doesn't matter, divine feminine, all right, oh, hold on, hold on, y'all, all right, I'm going to just hold this up to you while I read it to you, okay, go forth and be true to yourself, dare to be different, to make mistakes, create for it's in creation that you exist. In a world full of dreams that stem from your heart, in oneness, love, and hatred, wonder and awe, softness and pain, joy and light, in the stillness the unknown awaits, avoid wanting to be filled, step into it with courage and strength. Like a budding rose reaching for the light, love will lead you to greener pastures. Keep your pockets full of dreams, for life is a test of faith. Allow your light to shine. There is no beginning or end, there is only love. Um, and guys, if you're not familiar with Magdalene energy, um, you know, or people that carry that, the Magdalene vibration, check into that because you, you could definitely have that in you. Um, and if you, if you know that you can work with it, right? Super helpful. So check into it, guys. Pay attention to your intuition, work on your manifesting, heavy manifesting energy, and be careful with any offer that's happening in your life right now. There is some deception tied to it, okay? All right, take care, guys.